You are the craziest bastards I've ever met in my life! Crazy bastards, sons of wrestling, WWE Raw preview. The biggest thing coming this week is the WWE Universal Championship match after Finn Balor had to vacate the title. Oh, what a bad, bad time. But it is what it is. We have to move on and we have four men competing for that WWE Universal Championship. No matter what you think of the belt, ugly or not, they're competing for that some bitch. One red belt buckle they want to strap onto their waist and call themselves champion of Monday Night Raw. Who will it be? Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, boo! Yeah, Roman Reigns is already in my book. And Cass, big Cass, he's seven foot tall and you can't teach that. So, many, many ways you can go about this, but you start thinking, where do you go after this? So you pin that title onto one of these men. What happens next? I mean, you already have quite the uh, history between Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, so either one could grab that belt and you could start some kind of feud between the two and easy. Easy peasy wheezy, much like they did with the belts all around Universal Championship, the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, the Women's SmackDown Championship. All easy peasy lazy, simple as that. So, do you do that? Slap that belt on Seth Rollins, start where we left off last year when he got injured. That would be the easy way, and he deserves it, obviously. And then I just, this is, uh, it's midnight, Sunday night, so we're only talking, what are we looking at, uh, 20 hours from now, Raw goes on air, and right now at this moment, the percentages on WWE.com of people that went on the website and chose who will be the next WWE Universe Championship, champion, who will win that championship, 37% right now, the leader is Roman Reigns. That's not saying who, who do you want to win, it says who do you think will win. So that's a possibility of, you know, words being played here and people are thinking obviously they're just gonna give it back to him. So that's a possibility. Um, Seth Rollins, 26%. Kevin Owens, 25%, and Big Cass was, I think, at 17%. So, Big Cass, pretty much out of the picture, but look forward to this guy in the main event picture very, very soon in the near future, two, three years down the road. Absolutely, maybe even sooner. They have a lot banking on this guy. They really want this guy to come up because how many big guys do they get like that? You know, you just don't get that anymore. And Vince McMahon loves the big guys. So let me tell you what. Big Cass will be a major player soon. Very soon. As long as he keeps doing what he's doing. Hey, the kid is talented. And he's got the memory of a son of a bitch. That motherfucker remembers everything. It's crazy. But he can't remember how to smell, spell soft. So. Anyway, that's the whole gimmick. He does. He's a very smart guy. So let it be known. Um, Kevin Owens. The guy, I think, should get the belt. But we just had a guy that should have got the belt like for the fans. And that was Finn Balor. You think you're going to do that two times in a row? Hell no. Two times? No. So it's going to go to Seth Rollins or Roman Reigns. In my opinion, Kevin Owens, though, should get the goddamn belt and move on. Because just because it would be awesome, but prior rumors were Finn Balor was supposed to go on to a feud with Kevin Owens, and then that was going to turn to a triple threat with Chris Jericho. That is absolutely perfect, so why not just skip the whole triple threat thing, slap the bell on Kevin Owens, and then go into a um, feud with Chris Jericho because of you know jealousy. Why not? Two best friends. They love each other. They're Canadians. 
but only one can have the red belt. Hey, and the Canadian belt is only red and white, and uh, hey, they could do something crazy with that. Build that feud, why not just do that? Minus one Finn Balor. Instead of throwing in the easy, easy shit. That Roman Reigns needs to stay far away from a belt for a good six months and let him build just, you know, devastating match after devastating match and get beat down a few times here and there and just made not to look like a fool, but to look beat down and just not willing to move out. We're talking Rocky IV shit here, where you cannot overcome the odds, but eventually you will. That's what they need to do with Roman Reigns right now and just take that moment away all the way past WrestleMania 33 and then start. Just right now, six months, hardcore, beat the fuck out of him, take him down, down and out, and take almost everything away from him. But he keeps fighting, making him that, that dog that just keeps fighting. Change his personality a little bit and uh, have him overcome something. Just after WrestleMania, hell, he'll be awesome. Seth Rollins, he's got it in the bag. He doesn't need a belt. He is so damn talented and dangerous. <laughs> I like how he says danger is his middle name now. Anyway, yeah, we all know about that. And Taz, he uh, straightened that out the other night on the Taz show, that is. And uh, guys, personally, throw the belt on Kevin Owens would be awesome. The easy prediction here would be Seth Rollins. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going around the circles on this one because goddamn Roman Reigns keeps coming to mind that they're just going to put it on him, the easy thing. Just give it to Kevin Owens and let's have fun with this thing. We're heading on into uh, Clash of Champions. And um, I say, and then Survivor Series, I mean, we got some shit going on. Put it on Kevin Owens, let's start that feud with Jericho, give Jericho that elevation. Jericho's awesome anyway, and he's just earned some awesome stripes with a lot of people because of him standing up to Brock Lesnar recently after SummerSlam and being badass, so hey, maybe that was all part of the show here. It's a possibility. So, guys, look forward to that and the rest of Monday Night Raw. I'll be with you after the show. Uh, let me know down below who do you think is going to be the new Universal Champion. Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens are big cats. Uh, I hope it's Kevin Owens. That would be goddamn awesome. We'll see what happens after the show. And uh, will you cuss out Vince if they throw it on Roman Reigns? Or will you just throw a brick through your TV like uh, Mick Foley might? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll catch you after the show. And uh, check out this badass new Matt Hardy shirt I designed. <laughs>